Hello, so someone asked if I could make a tutorial on how I make my dragon puppets, so that's what I'm going to do. Alright, um, let's get started. Make it as equal as you can, and then I'd say it's time to draw your head shape. Now this will be the top and bottom because y you'll see why, alright? Now I'd say make a circle is what most people do to start. And then build off of that circle. Like this. See? Just a nice little dragon shape for a head. Then, just make it a bit more to your liking. And add somewhere where the eyes will be. Like that. Add a little nostril to make it cute. And there. The next part we do is we first make sure that the entire dragon base can fit in. Mine can't, so I'm going to have to extend it a bit more outwards. Like this. And actually, I'm going to give it a cute little thing there, which I will put a horn off of. By the way, this dragon I might use sometimes, and actually, if you want, you can follow along make this exact dragon. I don't care. I don't even care if you give me credit to it. Have fun, okay? Also, check again. Still no! Alright, I extended the jaw out, made this go farther back. Now, hopefully, you'll fit. Finally! Oh my god, you're no longer a disappointment. Now you can either color it in or cut it out. Personally, I like to cut it out now. And why we fold it in half is so we get two identical sides of the exact same length and size. So when you cut it, it'll be the exact same size on both sides. All right, so I'd say cut out what you made now. Now, see, we have two of the exact same sides. Now, we're gonna go, oh, what well, well, about the bottom jaw? We're gonna cut this so it matches it perfectly. That is what I did with Raptor, who I will grab right now. Eh. Alright, eh. The technical difficulties. Here. With Raptor, his jaw actually fits perfectly with the top portion of his head. So, you can fit it in and it looks more natural. The things you're gonna need is tape, a pencil, paper, a lot of paper, and scissors. And if you want, I would recommend grabbing markers because it's just easier to draw with them. Okay, so I'd get that stuff now. The first step I do is I fold my paper in half a seam. Sorry, I can only do this with one hand. And this will act as triangles, so you get two identical triangles. And actually, make your two identical triangles. Make sure it's on the end of the seam though, so you do less cutting, all right? Do that step now. What you do next is you cut the two triangles. So do that right now. Now that you have your two triangles, repeat the step, but make a slightly smaller one. So now get another piece of paper, all folded up. I would also, by the way, when making your dragon, I'd recommend pausing in between clips, okay? So now with your triangles from before, lay one on top, just so you kind of know how big this one was, and make it slightly smaller. Or you could be like me and just eyeball it. Then you're now going to cut this triangle out. If you want, you can make sure. Yep. Alright. You should then, in the end, have four triangles. Make sure to know which ones are which. Alright. What you do next is you s use this paper. You don't waste. If you waste... F you. Alright, I'm gonna be serious. Just F you. Alright, but what I do is I will cut on this seam and go up. 
if you do it correct, then you'll have a piece of paper like this. Make two of them. So now that you have two of them, get your triangles from before ready. What you're going to do is you're going to tape these to the side like this. The next step you do is try to align these. I'm doing this with one hand. Give me a break. All right, I'm, I'm going to have to put this camera. The next step you do is try to align these triangles up with the border of this. I'm sorry, this is hard. I'm doing it with one hand. I don't have a camera stand. Like that. So now that side is attached. Now rinse and repeat. Now when you have both sides attached like this, flip it over and pretty much do the same exact thing. When you're done, you should get a piece like this. Now with your two other triangles, you do the exact same thing. So, so if your piece turns out like this, it's fine. Don't stress about it. It's fine. It happens a lot. But that's just because I made this too small and the triangle's too big. Alright. If it happens, don't stress. You can trim them down. If you are, trim down the bottom part the most. Alright. All right, see, just trimmed this part. Now, the wider and longer side's going to the top, and this is going to be the bottom. So, it'll be like this. The next step we're gonna do is gonna be very useful. Now, grab that scrap piece of paper again, because you're gonna cut a square out of it, like this. Ah, right. Please stand by. Uh, Okay, just cut like that. You'll then get a piece similar to this. If you do and it opens up like that, you did it correctly. Get your piece of tape. And just a second. Put it on like that. Did I do that right? What you do next is you grab your piece of tape and put it right along here. Now, grab it and put it inside of here. Make sure the small end is on the bottom. Put it decently far in there and compact it down. Do the same exact thing for this side. Once again, I would make sure this side is the side that is connected. And I'd say try to fix it to make sure it's not lopsided. Now you got this, but wait, it's way too loose for your hand. We now make straps that go inside of it. So now it's time to grab your favorite thing again, your scraps and make some more straps for the inside of these so you can control your puppet better. I'll grab one of mine for a better example. See, with Spark, if we look inside of her head, you will see these straps. Because of that, I can move her up and down very easily, and she's secured my hand. See, that's why straps are important. So to make straps, Cut on the seam again, like this. I'd say make it decently thick, like that length. Cut it quite long and make sure it can fit around your hand. But this very easily can. Put your hand, put your hand down and then like fold these in. Maybe even make it a bit smaller than your hand would normally be, just to make it tighter. Grab your tape and put it fiddle. Now what you do is you put your tape on like that. And just do it to the other side as well. 
Now it's gonna be like that, and I would say tape these pieces together with a bit more tape. So what I would do to like tape them together is put another piece of tape here, bring this up, and if you can, I'd recommend using both hands, but I'm gonna mention it again, only got one because I'm holding the camera. And do it like this. It adds more support and it holds the pieces together like that. Now, put it in like that and compress. Just put some pressure on it. Now the top portion is secure, but the bottom, it, it's, it's the disappointment so far. With the bottom, make another piece. Make it a lot smaller though, because it's just going to fit your thumb. Like that. Pretty good size. Pretty much do the same thing. Make sure it can wrap around your finger, and you're good. Make sure your thumb can comfortably fit in it or it loops all the way around. Then I'd say grab another piece of tape. Grab a piece of tape, and... Put it in like that. If you need to, I'd maybe put a bit more tape going across like this. See, I had another piece of tape here. Now, put it in your base and adjust it a bit with your hand. And now you got it like this. So, I'm going to say maybe put a bit more tape here to secure it if it's like this it'll make it so it's less of a floppy john so it can't do this when you secure it there it'll look more like this this is your base and it's actually done for your base the next part you do is the best part and the most fun in my opinion these scrap pieces of paper I'd hold on to in case you want to add a detail like horns, which I will put in with this tutorial. You're going to need another piece of paper, and everyone, it's your favorite thing, folding! Sorry, this will have to be a two-part thing because I don't have special features. Um, the other part will be the actual coloring in the head and horns. So... Please check it out if you're curious about how to do those things.